Hello and welcome everybody to a brand new series in EU4 and I am going to be using the 1356 mod because, well, 1356 is a very interesting time in Europe. Um, the Ottomans are not yet completely all-powerful. Um, the Timurids have yet to uh, appear. Timur has, I don't believe, been born. I think he's from Transoxania, uh, but he's yet to be born. The Serbian Empire is really rather large. They even have Thessaly as a uh, as a vassal. Uh, there is a civil war going on in Spain between Castile, led by somebody, led by the De Ivivris, nailed that, and the Trastamaras. Oh, which is interesting. Uh, France is in the middle of a war. Uh, England versus France is going on, uh, but it's actually a proxy war between them, as the war is actually the Montfort versus Blois uh, civil war in Brittany. Um, so that's interesting there. We've got, I believe, Bohemia, yes, is the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, Austria, not yet uh, all powerful either. Hungary is obviously powerful, as they usually are. I believe they have, yeah, Croatia, Moldavia as vassals. We're also starting off at war with Venice. Uh, Poland is, they got a few vassals. Uh, they don't have anything to do with Lithuania, though I, in a couple of tests, I have seen Lithuania get Poland as a personal union. Not the other way around. Uh, Teutonic Order has uh, the Livonian Order as a vassal, and there is also a civil war going on in Sweden. Uh, unlike uh, with Castile and Trastamara, they don't um, they don't model this as two different countries fighting each other. It is it is just rebels, which is a, a shame. It is a shame. So uh, 1356 may be um, a little bit well, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, familiar to people who've been around on the channel for quite some time, as 1356 is also the start date for Mayo and Taxes, and uh, yes, Mayo and Taxes will be coming back to the channel at some point. I'm waiting for version 3.0 to be uh, stable and public, and I will wait until then to show it off to you. But I have an inkling and a passion for playing in this year because I just think it is a more interesting start date than 1444. And well, this mod's out. It's in public alpha right now. It is not there may be bugs, there may be crashes, there may be a whole host of, of things that we don't exactly want to happen, but they, they may happen anyway. And uh, I decided that I'm going to be playing as the Ottomans, the Ottoman Empire, which is currently led by Sultan Orhan Osmanoglu. Um, great great granddad probably of, of the guy that's in 1444, I don't even know. But anyway, uh, we're going to be starting as the Ottomans. I have got that Ottoman series that is the multiplayer campaign that unfortunately um, on the YouTube side of things has ended there was too many issues um, technical issues of getting the multiplayer running nicely so I'm repurposing that thumbnail and we're going to do this as a single player series instead so how about enough rambling let us get into the game we're playing as the Ottomans and as the Ottomans we start off way weaker than we do in 1444. We have yet to uh, conquer the Baliks. I believe we've also yet to lose to the Timurids. Um, as far as I recall, basically what happens is the Ottomans uh, do get a lot of this land all conquered. Uh, but as we're doing that, the, uh, the Timurids start doing the same thing in Mesopotamia. Uh, they start button heads, and the Ottomans get absolutely trashed in, in the war. And, uh, well, the Ottomans get thrown back again. Like I said, the Timurids don't yet exist. Uh, we don't even have Transoxania with a um, with a Timur underneath them. None of these have Timurs. Uh, but uh, I'm sure something will, like that will come up eventually. Uh, what I'm surprised at is the Jalariids not starting with the Chupanids as a, uh, a, a war with them. I thought that was something that happened. The Mamluks are a lot weaker as well. They, they've got less territory. They've also got uh, Syria is their vassal, and also Alexandria is their vassal. Uh, though both of these guys are very much independence-minded. Also got Mercuria, a really rather large Coptic nation. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how well they do. If they can beat up the Mamluks, then, uh, you know, having a big Copt in Egypt is pretty interesting. 
Serbia is, of course, incredibly strong as well. They've got Thessaly, though they do have a little bit of a crisis very early on into the game. Now, as the Ottomans, we start at war with two people. We start at war with Germian and Hamid. Uh, now, having a look at them, we are... Do we have any historical rival things going on with them? No, it doesn't look like it there. It doesn't look like it there either. You are my rival, though. I didn't rival you, but you rivaled me. I can't actually add any rivals as I'm at war. It's interesting that they were allowed to um, put me as a rival, even though I'm not allowed to do the same to him. Whatever. It's fine. I'll ignore it. Uh, let's get our navy to start patrolling the, the waters of Constantinople, and uh, these galleys can hunt pirates in Constantinople, because the knights, well, they exist, of course, and uh, it's always awkward. Do we start with a general? Yes, we do. A fantastic general, in fact. And we also start with the vassal Saruhan, uh, which is very loyal. It's very nice. Good. So this war we've got going on is a subjugation CB. Uh, be nice if I could hover over and see what the, the modifiers and stuff are. War goes to take that. Castus Belli is conquest, so it's not exactly subjugation then. And I've got just one claim on Kutiaha. However, we have also built a force limit, so I'm getting a little bit of extra morale of armies. Sure. I've also reformed the uh, Imperial Army, so I get permanent claims on fucking everything. Yeah. Now I've got claims on all of your land. How glorious. So that's, uh, that's interesting. Alright, so what we need to do is defend Sarahan from uh, from these guys. Then probably, if they do come to engage here, uh, what we might be able to do is chase them down wherever they retreat to. And some gold near has started, as per usual. Oh, they're not actually coming to Sarahan. That is awkward. I was kind of hoping they would. Well... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can adopt the title of Khalifa, yes. Move towards legalism, yes. Missionary strength versus heretics, yes. Uh, I don't yet want to do this one. Um, I want to take Miltek first. Uh, and then we've also got obtain new missions. I believe that is when there's... Yeah, so when it's broken. We're just going to turn that one off for now. Uh, we also have low crown land, which is rough. I don't like that at all. We'll have to fix that when we're at peace. Uh, that's some of the diet for now, though. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, upgrade, cook Kylie. Um, we don't really want to spend base tax. Don't really want to spend mill points. Sea of Marmara. I have 25% trade power. That is this sea here, which means I'm basically going to need to take Byzantium out and uh, own Constantinople. Uh, yeah, I can, I can probably swing that. I've got until 77 to do that, so 20 years. Not terrible, not terrible, could be worse. I think I kind of want to just... I could hit him here, because this is uh, dry lands. That would work. My army is stronger, after all. Uh, there's some conversions that we can do, and also I believe we can raise Janissaries. Yes, we can. Uh, six Janissaries. It's so tempting, but I don't want to do it yet because of the annoying, you know, I don't want to waste all my tech points, you know? Aki only wants another, no, nah, no. Nah. Aki only can cheat shit, really. Uh, so there's 13,000 enemies here. Uh, it's, it's, uh, we're being flanked, which is not great. But I've got a five shock advantage, uh, and I rolled a nine. So let's see just how many men I kill in this round of combat. It's 800 versus the 88. Oh, God, it's dirty. I feel so dirty for the kills. It's glorious, though. It's fucking phenomenal. Do you want a break? There you go, buddy. That was a, a good one. And also, we can just go and hit them in Hamid now. Dulkadir and Mentes want... Uh, Mentes, I could probably, probably consider trying to get him as a vassal. Uh, I'm thinking probably no. Thing is, Karaman is a historic rival, so I'm not going to be able to take you as a vassal. Um, Teke, Teke, possibly. I mean, the 
my base text compared to everyone else, it's going to have to be um, war forged vassals if, if I get vassals. Anyway, stack wipe the enemy army. We got a bit more movement speed, which is always, always nice. Uh, let us drop off the cavalry. You go there, and you can go there. And we'll get uh, get this war ended. Chuck it up to speed five while we're going. And who do I not want to join a coalition? Probably the likes of Eretna and Caraman. Uh, I would like to be friends with Jalariads, so let's start improving relations with him. Looks like the uh, Constantinople is being under siege by rebels, but that's over now. Good for him. That land will be mine eventually. You can put your money on it. So, I'm actually curious. Let me just take you back again. What can I take in this war that doesn't cost me dip? Because I know we did start with a claim on Kutiaha. Uh, we can take everything for no Diplo points. Perfect. That is exactly what we're going to do then. I'm going to take as much land as I possibly can. Uh, let's get that 400 men out. And over here, let's get 700 men out of here. They don't need to be there, so get out of there and start refreshing your numbers. Losing a little bit of money, but uh, not too much of a problem yet. Ooh, hello. 633 air for some production. What is my air currently? We're currently a 415. I kind of prefer the 633 actually. Yeah. And he can be called, not that I can't pronounce it, Ibrahim. There we go. We've got Ibrahim. Bit of uh, corruption going down. Love it. Fantastic. So we'll just wait until these sieges are done. We'll finish our first war. We'll get a, a bunch more territory. Be nice if I could make these vassals, but eh, it just doesn't matter so much. Byzantium's actually going on the warpath, attacking Achaia. Good for him. Uh, Achaia over here. Good for them. And we've got Serbia as well. Oh, wow. Hang on. Serbia starts with cores on all of Thessaly, and they're at war already. Serbian conquest of Thessaly. I think that's uh, event driven, because Thessaly starts as a vassal of the Serbs. So, interesting stuff. Uh, let's get uh, one of these guys to walk over here with the uh, with the commander with the two siege. Get that siege going just a little bit faster. So of course, when we're starting so early in the game, there are new institutions, there are new uh, technologies. Um, Institution-wise, we don't yet have uh, mercantilism which is basically everywhere except here, which is awkward. Um, <laughs> so we don't have that. Uh, sorry, we do have mercantilism. It's, uh, why can't I click this one? Renaissance, no, there's, there's feudalism. All right, we've got feudalism. That's everywhere, but a retina doesn't have it. Then there is mercantilism. I don't know what this is, why I can't click it. But then there's Renaissance, colonialism, print and press. Blah, 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 but basically mercantilism is the, and feudalism are the ones that, uh, I think just mercantilism actually is the new one. And I would definitely like to have that. So what I'm going to do is say, Hudvendgar, I would like you to spread institution, same here, and then I don't have much land here, but I'll have the same happen there as well. Pretty please. Nope, you can't have peace. I want to peace you all out at the same time. If I can, I don't know how much war score all this is. Uh, we've got 70, and that's 13. Ah, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to leave a province behind. Um, uh, clear off. Uh, let's leave Hamid, and we'll take that as the peace deal. It's a bit. Rough. Why is it so expensive? I don't know, but it it just is. Uh, then I guess. Yeah, you're all dead now. The the one that we're attacking is all dead. So I could actually leave Denizli. That's going to be a coalition. Not too worried about that, actually. All right, we'll just take the money then. And we'll piece him out. We'll take a bit of land. All right, so I can now create some rivals. Achaia looks like they're about to die. So I wouldn't mind some free power projection. Thank you. Uh, we've got Bulgaria, Byzantium, Aretna, and... That's Germany that just disappeared. Okay. Definitely Byzantium. 
and probably also a retina. Uh, it's a land that we've just taken, not too bad. Don't want to take that until I've taken this, which means I definitely want this first. Uh, don't know how much it's going to cost me yet, but we'll see. Uh, right, so all my men want to go probably do Hudvindgar. My capital is actually in Gilibalu, which is very interesting. I would have expected it in probably Hudvindgar, actually. Uh, Caraman's in the coalition. I'm probably okay with this. You could join, you could join. Do I want to attack one of these so they don't join in? You would call in Kandar, which could join. Mentes would call in Karaman. Hamid would call in Aiden. Oh, Hamid, we've just been at war with. Uh, Teke, Aiden, and that's tempting. That is tempting. Do I just really push it? I would mind an ally. So let's see about allies first. Nine people want to be my ally. And none of them are even remotely strong. That is... Fantastic. Yes. Love it. Um, I think probably we'll leave allies for now. I think at this point there'd probably be more trouble than they're worth. Uh, so looking at my missions, do we have any new missions? Well, we've got City of World's Desire open Constantinople. Uh, I'm definitely going to go for that. It doesn't look like any of these are actually different. At least all these are permanent claims. So it's a slight bit cheaper for me. Do I want gold, stand, and nobility, or do I want stability? Easy choice. Uh, that does mean, though, that I need to create my own claim on Constantinople, and I will do exactly that. Uh, Constantinople starts as 32 dev, which is incredible. Uh, Alexandria gets Coptics tolerated no more, tolerance of heathens. Ooh, lose 5,000 manpower. Massacre of Alexandria, ouch. Happens in 360 days to one year and 175 days. Interesting. Kandar's in the coalition as well now. So Alexandria is not Coptic, but they got a Coptic flag. That's uh, interesting. Maybe they've been forced to be Coptic. They're allied with Anisa, Fadl, and Syria. I think there is going to be a coalition. Not a coalition, a independence war. Mentes is now in the coalition against me as well. I'm I'm relatively okay with this situation right now. That's a decent console, actually. Uh, what's my force limit? I can get one more. Let's get one cab then. Let's hope that that is enough. Um, I want to check the institution. It's uh, it's only embracing three, and none of them are cored. So fun. Uh, it is spreading, albeit incredibly slowly. I just find it very interesting that we're the only one in Anatolia that has no institution whatsoever uh lose military power i don't want to do that and i don't really care about their opinion of me that much we can we can integrate them at any point that we like i don't even need this spy network it was just to stop them from getting as much aggressive expansion which clearly didn't work let's just improve relations with outraged countries Tripoli would ally me, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see any of these as being really that much useful. I mean, the knights, if it was the case that they wouldn't raid you if you're allies, totally would, but I believe they still raid. Hell, you've got raided coast. Interesting. wonder who, who else can raid. Is it the Cilicians, perhaps? The Cypriots? I don't know, but I'm not going to check everyone. Uh, yeah, but that's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, let's just let's just improve relations with uh, others then. Improve with outraged countries, like for instance, um, Aden. We can probably get to leave the coalition relatively easily. Honestly, this coalition in in general isn't that scary. Honestly, I could probably beat it anyway if I just played my cards right. 
but it would be a difficult war for sure. Uh, what's annoying though is I'm still losing money, and I don't know why. I gain a claim on Adrianople. Ooh, can I hold off? Can I wait like two months? Alliance off from Canic. That's you right there. You know what? I'll I'll take it. You're a distraction. If I can wait on this until I get this up to 20, then I can just get the two claims immediately. Which would be quite nice. Uh, do I want a 424? I kind of do, actually. Um, a 633 is nice, but a 424, I think, is better. No, it isn't. I lose one, two, three... I lose two. Mm. I still gain the production. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do that then. Should be fine. Yeah, losing that much money is bad. I don't know why I'm losing that much money. Attack declared war on Hamid. All right, so not everyone can join the coalition then. Actually, Hamid was never in the coalition to start with. Never mind. Hmm. Don't make too much from trade, but that's why I need this. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. So we now got a 633. Ibrahim the first Osmanoglu. And we're at 21, so let's get the claim there. And then we will take the claim on Adrianople. So now we've got claims on that. How lovely. You are allied with Dobruja, which is right here. I feel like if I take this... The coalition is going to be huge, so I'm going to wait until these guys leave it, and then we're going to go straight for Constantinople. The city of worlds, and more importantly, my desire. Uh, we'll adopt Khalifa, we'll lower the unrest, we'll get missionary strength, and again, we won't do that until I've taken tech. Debate over Sufi practices, more legalism, always. You both want access? Sure. If it makes you happy, you can have the access. Make these three a core as well. Lovely stuff. And that can be stated. Do I want to state it? I mean, I've got three out of four now. Hamid would be another eight. 28 is a little bit low for what I like to make states, honestly. So I might just leave this one alone for now. Um... Are you, you're at war as well, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're at war with tech. So, who, who did you call in? You're at war with just tech. And you're at war with tech... Uh, sorry, with Hamid and Aiden. I'm just trying to see if there's any in for me to, you know, get a truce with some of those guys. Could start converting, but probably not. The Byzantines are having a little bit of a naval fight. They got a much bigger navy than mine. A much more strong navy. So I probably don't want to worry about that just yet. 19 ships. Yeah, I can't touch that. And my income is not good. Then again, I will say, uh, Constantinople would certainly improve my income. Fuck it, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try and take the City of Worlds Desire. get ourselves a diplomat and declare war upon Byzantium get 25 legalism as well which is always nice uh, we're gonna declare for Adrianople though because it's easier to take just get you to go there you go there you just sink a couple of ships I'm not expecting to win this naval fight I wouldn't mind there we go we sank one uh, my navy is looking okay for now. Oh, no, one of them is about to get sunk, so I'm retreating. Fuck that. Alright, so they definitely have the upper hand when it comes to the navy. But, it doesn't matter, I'm already cross. Gelibalu fell to the Ottomans, I think it's something like 1348 or 1352, something like that. Very, very close to the start of the game. Uh, and it fell because uh, there was an earthquake, uh, and it destroyed the fort that was blocking the, the straight crossing. And then the Ottomans just came in and like rebuilt the fort, occupied it, and was like, oh, yeah, this is ours now. 
I thought, uh, guess you're right. That sucks. <laughs> that is basically it. Fucking defeated by an earthquake. How sad. Um, still don't want that. Stop looking at it. We could start doing some of these buttons. I think for me, getting 25% or more trade power in the Sea of Marmara, Constantinople has to be taken. There is no, there's no real options there. Um, it's a world port. It's got a really good trade good. It's got tons of fucking production. Uh, Adrianople, it's it's not it's not terrible either. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it has to be taken. And we're taking loans. Not great. Not great. Not terrible. It's just, just alright. It's just alright. Nice if this popped up with a different color if you could pay off a loan. That'd be pretty cool. Right, we do have some enemies. I feel like I can pretty pretty easily defeat that. Three. Three units with four cav. You do have three shock, actually. That was maybe a bad idea. I've just taken an, a negative two. Um, am I going to... Yeah, I've... I've nope, no, they've got reinforcements. They have reinforcements. Did not see this 10,000. All right, then. I guess this uh, this little group cav is probably going to go to Kokaili. Ready to reinforce this army when necessary, if necessary. It's a good job I didn't cross the strait to siege it. Surprisingly, they've not killed this Sarahani army. When they so, so easily could. Alright, you need to go there. I mean, I have a feeling that I'm going to I'm gonna beat this anyway. Even though I've got no cav. i got more discipline. i got more shock on my general. You do have more men coming in which is rough but i think i think i've already broken the back of your army okay let's produce modifier yeah I've, I've won it was tight though it was tight they killed a fair chunk of men maybe you can go back to uh adrianople oh oh they only retreated here they only retreated here I feel like my cav are dead. When can I retreat? 24th of October. One, two, three. Okay, I can retreat if I want to. Do I want to? I kind of want to. I mean, we are we're technically winning. This is really painful on my cav. I would like to win a battle, though. Uh, lose prestige. Let's lose the prestige after we win the battle. There we go. All right, we'll lose prestige. The Ulema are happier. Cool, good thing. Uh, someone's going to be re retreating here. Oh, and half the army just got demolished. Stack wipe. Very nice. Uh, we're going to ignore you again. Go kill that, and then come back again. Probably not going to get there before the end of the month. Oh, we are, though. Uh, yeah, so this army is stack wiped as well. Fantastic stuff. So that was painful. We lost about probably 5,000 men all told. Uh, but our army is back together. Constantinople is soon to fall. It's at 28% and we're taking this like almost 100 years before we should be. But let's be fair. I personally am better than... Uh, King Ibrahim the first Osman Oglu ever was. I don't even know if that's an actual sultan that existed, but it doesn't matter. Let's be fair. Byzantium is going to remain existing in Chalcedici, Achaea, Nexos. So it's not like I'm wiping them off the map. I just, I just want City of World's Desire. Is that too much to ask? Clearly, I don't think it is. Missy Admin, come on. You have to fall, son. So, so defensive. Do they have world ports cool, Bosphorus sound tall, plus 10 trade power is amazing as well. Uh, nearby Merchant Republics, Theodosian Walls modifier, plus 1 attrition for enemies, plus 1 fort level, plus 10% garrison growth and plus 20% defensiveness. I want that. I want that. Please. Pretty please. I, I want it. I, I want that modifier. Uh, let's go and have a naval fight.
He's going to bring all of his navies in, so we're not going to get anything out of this. Back to Gillibaloo. It was a good effort. Close, but no cigar. Alright. Well, I guess this siege is just going to go on, so I'm going to put it back up to speed back in five. Let's get the cavalry again. They can go back and retake Adrianople. Uh, what do I want here? Probably... Yeah, that's fine. Also, with all more land that I take, it's all going to the crown land anyway. So, this not going to worry me after I take Constantinople, I don't but think. Uh, let's take you away as well. We have the we have the vassal there anyway. Uh, we can take Miltech ahead of time, getting us some uh, innovativeness, and you know I do love me some innovativeness. Uh, it's tempting. It's certainly tempting. Um, it's only 115 ducats to take that though. So I think I would rather maybe take a couple of loans, uh, then take the institution, then take the tech. Oh yeah, I kind of have to do that now. 81 days. Is there 81 days until January? There might be. Is there 61 October and then no there isn't so we're not going to get to January before that runs out. Which is a fucking shame. Uh, let's see, are the merchant guilds going to give me some loans? Cheap loans. Yes. Give me some of them sweet ass cheap loans. Then we're going to embrace mercantilism. Then we are going to take the technology. Then we are going to take... Can, should I upgrade my infantry now? Yeah. Early Anatolian infantry and an Anatolian royal guard, which sound cool. And then there is one of our loans. There is a 4%... Uh, two of our loans at 4% interest. I'm going to pay them both off. We just have those. Oh, great. And we've got some fucking rebels as well. Let me take this fucking place. Some Serbian pretender rebels now. Ah. Let me just let me just win. For another naval fight. Oh, I lost a ship. Let's not have any more naval fights. It's not worth it. I will be, of course. <laughs> Increasing the size of my navy at some point. Kinda has to be done. Uh, the Devish Sherme system, I will do this now. So we've got 100 and... Uh, 11 years, sorry. Uh, so we're going to take that for an extra 10% manpower until the end of the game. Considering I'm out of manpower, it seems like a pretty good idea. I'm just a little bit worried about the coalition which is going to fire. I would hope, I would have hoped, that this siege would be over by now, but... Oh, there we go. It took 879 days. And I can't even take it. Oh, God, that's rough as well. Well, let's go take care of some uh, of these assholes. Uh, so, I'm just going to sit on this for a while. Go to Karahasir. I think that's where we're next going to get some rebels. Uh, completed the state agenda. Fantastic. We do have a little bit of war exhaustion, but I'm not too worried about that. More legalism is always appreciated. Do like me some legalism. Do you want to rebel? Come on. And you're probably going to go to Kachiaha. Yep. Let's go and fix that and go back to Karahasir. I don't even have any advisors and already I'm still losing a ton of money. I don't find it fair. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. Alright, so, get you murdered up right good and quick. We lost a few men, but nothing too worrisome. Alright, well, I'm going to put a cut in there. It's a long first episode. I do like doing these from time to time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, um, you know, Ottoman Empire, starting in 1356, where we're not actually that strong, and it is touch and go whether we survive or not. I mean, the retinids, they're really strong. The Mamluks way stronger than us, although it does look like they are in the middle of their independence war, which is fun for them. The White Horde, 
fucking crazy, blue horde, really crazy, big and strong and scary and stuff. And, you know, it wasn't a guaranteed thing that the Ottomans would come out on top. So let's see if, uh, if we can uh, follow history all the way up until right before the Ottoman decline. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. As this is a first episode in a brand new series, likes and comments do mean quite a lot. It means that YouTube sees that engagement is something that is happening and it promotes my video to more people. So more people see it and it's good for me. And if you want to be good to me, then do that. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.